Alrighty guys, how's it going today? So, it's uh, finally a nice day out. Sun's out. Like, literally, it's out, not freaking cloudy and snowy or fucking rainy. And, uh, got people driving around, doing their stuff. But, uh, yeah, the, uh, sorry if there's any wind noise, but, uh, the ex mayor has been out uh, mowing whatever there is to mow. Like, I haven't even mowed yet. And I know his grass is the same as mine, so what he sees in mowing, I don't know. And, like, I still have fucking dead spots in my yard. Front yard's doing pretty good, though, but I gotta get my trimmer going pretty quick here, too, because I'm gonna need that. But, uh, I'll show you guys the front lawn here. Um, if you can see it, look at it, it's pretty green there, but it's not green down there below enough worth mowing. And if you look over here, it's still brown and short. So, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, so I'm gonna talk about a couple of things, and uh, I did put my little uh. Uh, junior tender, small tender thingy on this thing. Um, only because I didn't like the, I really don't under, understand the big charger. So, and plus with those things you can overcharge your batteries, and I don't like that fact. So, whereas my little, my little junior or my little mini charger slash maintainer, it senses the battery and then it knows when to cut it off. So you don't overcharge. And then it just goes into float mode. So anyways, I, this battery here, because this, this is the one I think that mainly starts the tractor. Because this is the one that, that always goes down the most. Um, it took about three and a half days to fully charge that battery. Uh, the other battery, the other side one took about an hour. So... Yeah, so I can charge these big batteries off my little charger. It just takes a long time because they're, it's a really small tender. So if there's any wind, how come there's not a belt there? I guess you don't need it. Whatever. So. <sighs> But, uh, yeah, I didn't check on the, uh, TA there. It's still wet. So, yeah, it only took about three days to charge that one battery. Which I thought, huh, eh, that's not bad. Plus, I, you know, it was hooked up to the big charger there for a couple hours or an hour anyway. It probably didn't do much, but it did enough, so... <clears throat> but anyways, um, everyone was, was a couple of people that were saying um, to in order to stop the antifreeze leak on this tractor was to maybe try some ground pepper. Um, well, I can't really say anything about that because I've never heard of that before. A couple of people say that they've done it and it works and. I've watched, a, I've only watched maybe one YouTube video on it, and that was in a vehicle. <clears throat> so, but I don't know if I'm going to, as of, well, I'm not going to as of right now, because I don't have, we do have some ground pepper in the house, but, um, but that stuff's, well, I mean, my mother uses that, and she gets the expensive stuff, so... Yeah, I'm not going to use the expensive stuff in this. I'll just go, I'll go to the store or something and maybe, you know, find some cheap stuff. It's, either way, it's the same. But, but, uh, yeah. So, <clears throat> but the last time I had this tractor running, it wasn't even leaking antifreeze. It wasn't even showing signs of being, being wet. So, Anything now because I'll have the light down there. Freaking wind. 
But uh, I'm I don't know what I'm going going to do yet. If I'm going to try the uh, ground pepper deal, or if I'm just going to go find something at the hardware, like stop leak stuff. I know one guy was saying that if you use that stuff, it'll it'll clog up the pumps or whatever. Well, you think that ground pepper would do the same thing because it's going through the system as well. So I don't really know. And then the other guy recommended the, the pressure test it. Well, I don't have any of that kind. Of, I don't have those kind of tools to be doing it. And like I said, it hasn't been leaking as of lately. So I don't know if it's just if this is just a winter thing or, or what the hell the problem is. But uh, if it doesn't leak anymore, I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna top it off with antifreeze and see if it'll last. But might have to put something in maybe for the winter. I don't know. So. But anyways, the, the kind of antifreeze that they put in my tractor was uh, from, I'm not sure if that's the company's name or not, but it's Frost Free or whatever, LS, um, antifreeze slash coolant. What the hell the difference is, I don't know, I mean, either way, it's fucking, it cools their engine off, so. Um, but they only gave me one jug. And I put it in, and of course that kind of started leaking a little bit, but I forgot that I had this jug here. I'm going to probably show my uncle this later, and maybe we can throw this in there. It's probably not going to be enough, but I bought this for, I think I bought this for the machine, like for the four-wheeler and stuff later, you know, for future, um, you know, the to top off their antifreeze, but I got another bottle that I've been using. And this is the same thing, it's antifreeze slash coolant, you know, and then it's one gallon, so I don't know really why this couldn't be thrown in there too, so, just check for leaks, well, <laughs> that probably kind of comes and goes, so, but, uh, yeah, I've had this one. I've had this one for quite a while now. So, uh, looks like this is uh, made for corrosion protection. So, that would probably be a good thing. So, but for some reason, we never ever did use this in the, in the small machines. Um,. Not too sure why we never did, but of course, I mean, the machines ain't leaking antifreeze either. But the John Deere has always seemed to leak the antifreeze, but I think it might be overflowing, so that's part of why. Um, this is better guard, that contains better guard in it, so I, I don't know. I want to see if my uncle will take a look at this. You guys can probably tell me too, but he'll probably, I don't know when he'll come over, or if he'll ever come over. <laughs> And uh, I'm just going to see if I can pick up more of this stuff at the hardware. Because I know I, I know that one jug there won't be enough. But even though it says one gallon, you can make two gallons out of that. That's what we did with the other one. So I don't know if that stuff's any good or not. Like I said, I've had that actually for a lot of years, that antifreeze, and just never used it. So I might as well be, if I can put it in the big tractor, I might as well get rid of the damn bottle. I'm probably, I'm probably gonna pick up a couple more jugs on payday, but uh, yeah, I don't know why we couldn't throw that in there too. So, this is antifreeze. I don't honestly see why there's got to be so many different kinds of freaking antifreeze. So, but uh, whatever, I'll probably throw that in there. You know. And use it, I guess. Like I said, I've had it for a while, and I might as well get rid of it. And uh, yeah, so. But yeah, I don't understand. Well, I mean, I understand, but the uh, the uh, ground pepper trick. I, mean, I don't know who ever thought of that idea, but 
I guess it must must work a little bit, but I know the one guy said that he did it and he ran his vehicle for about three years afterwards and then of course he got rid of it, so I guess three years three years is not bad, but the thing is, you know, the years it seems like the days and the years go by a lot quicker for me and three years would be gone just like that. So I kind of, of course, he said it would long, it would last well, probably longer than that. He said he said it was still holding even when he sold it or got rid of it. So <sighs> I really don't know if I want to try that with this thing or not. You know, I mean, yeah, probably because you don't really know what, what kind of damage it'll do to it. I suppose it probably wouldn't do much. But I don't feel like having to clean it out, you know, and then refill it with antifreeze, and then go get shit at the hardware that wasn't designed for it. So, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, it hasn't been leaking antifreeze. I mean, the last time I had it running, there we got seen that video. It wasn't leaking, so I don't understand why, you know comes and goes, but it comes and goes, so, but, uh, I'll keep an eye on it, um, and whatever, wouldn't mind adding a couple more gallons, or, yeah, two more gallons to it, and see if it continues to piss or not, but, there's no need to yell, suck it, so, yeah, I don't know. But, I mean, it, it just kind of sucks because, you know, I wanted to, you know, get some use out of this fucking thing. I wanted to put it on the disc and put my first, first crop in, you know, because I've never seeded, I never seeded a crop in. I think he was actually going to let me do it this year. Since I, since I got this big fucking thing, he doesn't have to bring his tractors down and do it, you know. We can just do it with, with this machine, so. It's not so low on hydraulic oil. Like, I think the hydraulic oil is actually still fine in it. Um, let me put you guys up here for a second. I'm going to check my hydraulic level. If you can only see it. It's still pretty, uh... Yeah, this is why you want to use a rag, not your hand. But I didn't bring a rag with me, so I'll just use my hand. Check it again. It's I don't know, it's about kind of you can't even see it because the freaking hydraulic oil is so clean in this thing. Like I don't understand why it's so clean for. Well, if it's clean, that's obviously a good thing. Then the filters are doing its job. Um, because I never the hydraulic oil has never been changed in this thing. You know, it's actually still running. I think they topped it off. Um, apparently they did when they uh, changed the hydraulic filter. They said that you would, that I'd lose a little bit. Uh, how much I don't know, but they, they said you'd lose a little bit of hydraulic oil changing that filter out, which is fine and everything. That's actually kind of a good thing sometimes too because. That's where all the junk will be at by your filter. Well, if you let some of it roll out, well, then you can get rid of that. Whew, it smells like hydraulic oil, boys. Whew. It uh, cleans it out, I think, a little bit, too, if you let it come out like that. So. But, uh, yeah, God, that was freaking. I don't know. I think I might change this tire. I, like, that's probably nothing to worry about. Like, this, this, you know, you get all these cracks. Or, you know, they're within the tread. They're not in the sidewalls, which is a good thing. 
but I just don't like it. I think it's time for a new one. So I might end up getting a new tire too. Um, I'll just get this tire replaced. Might do it maybe this fall. I could take it up to... <sighs> Hell, they might even come and do it. I don't know, but... Um, the guys where I, you know, where I get my gas and my diesel from, they do tires. They, they do tractor tires, so... I should just get this one replaced. It's going to cost... It's going to be probably over a thousand bucks. How much exactly, I don't know, but I think my uncle said that he got... Um, see now he's got smaller tires on his 400 they're a lot smaller than this and that there was I think he said about a thousand bucks or a little bit more so I'm going to say that mine will probably be maybe 1500 but see the, the thing with these people is that they let you finance like they'll let you pay monthly on it so I'll just see if I can get a new tire put in and yeah, it probably will. It, it'll probably be a Firestone. Because I mean, everything else is fucking Firestone, so why not? And yes, the duels are Goodyear. I went and looked. And yes, they are Goodyear. They're shot as well. They, they're, 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 they're definitely done. And how do I know? Because uh, I think it was a sidewall, I think. Um, there was actually a piece of rubber you could actually almost kind of pull up. Like it, it was like... It had a crack in it, and I figured, man, if you run that, you know, it'll probably just blow. I think the other duel is fine, but yeah, so, I don't know. We'll see. So I might get a new tire for this tractor as well later on this fall. It's not going to be now though, but uh. Yeah, because I don't want to have to worry about them blowing out on me. If, uh, if, you know, I just don't want to have to worry about it blowing out on me. So, this tire is newer. So, yeah, there's not even a lick of crack on this yet. So, you know that this tire is pretty good yet. Like, I don't even see a crack in it. Uh, there's, there's cracks in this, like, up here. But that's probably from running over a rock or something. It looks like something might have gouged it, or even a piece of steel might have gouged it, but... I see, that's in, in the lug, so... I ain't gonna worry about the lugs, but... Yeah. See, I don't like all these big, massive cracks in it, so I might just get this tire replaced. The front ones are good, but... The other one was a American farmer. I know the one guy said that, that they'll shove on just, you know, whatever happens to be laying around or whatever's the cheapest. Yeah. If you're in a hurry, yeah, that's what you would do, but you gotta think though too that your truck is gonna look kinda stupid. You know. But for me, you know, I mean, now, see, again, too, if I was in a hurry, like, if I had hay on the ground, yeah, I'd probably just want to shove on whatever, you know. Well, well, the thing is, too, we can't do tire changes. We don't have the tools to do it, so it has to be done at a, at a dealer place. So, you know, so if they have to do it, and I, th I think they basically only sell Firestone or Goodyear. I don't think they sell anything else. So, which is fine, but they have to do it anyway. So, we might as well get a matching tire put on it. But, uh, you know, what are you going to do, right? So, yeah. So, that's what's going on. Um, <clears throat> not a lot's going on, you know. Besides, uh, ah, that wire fell out again. Son of a bitch. There. Slowly fix this thing up, I guess. I won't be able to run this thing at night because I don't have rear lights, so. 
who knows when I'll get around to replacing them. So, but yeah, put that, try to get that extra little bit of antifreeze put in there and then, uh, and then uh, see if it continues to leak. Surprising it didn't leak that last time I ran it though, because it was cold out, so uh, I, I don't know. I really don't know what's going on with it. So, whatever. If it leaks, it leaks. Well, we, I mean, it's overheating obviously because it's low on antifreeze. So, but eh, if it don't leak any more than that, that'd be awesome. Ooh, squeaky cylinder. Gotta start saving up for the damn bale spear too to put on the back of this cocksucker. That's going to be fun to try to do. But, uh, yeah. I don't think we'll be seeding yet because the fields are still wet. And, uh, I was down there, I was, I was down there yesterday and I picked up a load of branches. But, yeah, you didn't notice it either. I didn't even show this, but I took the yellow trailer out. Uh, because I can hold branches on that and I can't get the pickup down to where I gotta go. So I figured, huh, well, I'll just take that four wheeler and that trailer and then I'll, I'll take a load of branches that way. So I took one load yesterday. Uh, I'm not in a hurry, so I'm just gonna kinda kinda just take my take my time with it. One load every now and then should be enough. So but uh yeah. And then another little update is I'm going to be looking for a uh, different tower for my computer. Um, um, you know, tower, obviously. Because I got a desktop, and when you have a desktop, your tower is your brains of the computer, and you just have the monitor. Well, yeah, it's just the... Yesterday I had... The worst luck with it ever known to history because the damn thing disconnected, I swear, like at least once an hour. So, and then it's still kind of acting up. And it shouldn't matter that it's on the floor. So, I was thinking about maybe. I was thinking about maybe grabbing these damn blocks and maybe blocking it up, getting it up a little higher. Like, I wouldn't get it up real high, but I thought maybe that would help. But I don't think I'm going to waste my time with that because it shouldn't matter. It shouldn't matter one hell of a bit. So the thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go find me a different tower. It's going to either be a Dell or an HP or... Maybe even another Asus if I can find one for a reasonable, reasonable price. Um, and just try it out. My mom is actually thinking that maybe it's our internet company, but they're not saying anything. They, because we, we called them even yesterday. Or not, was it yesterday? No, it might have been the day before when we called. It might have been Friday when we called, actually. And, uh. And they st they were always saying that stuff was good on their end. Like I guess apparently they're somehow able to, to test it and figure it out. And you know, well the reason why my mom thinks that it's probably them is because the school here in front of me, the school is in front of my house. You can't see it really because the truck is in the damn way now. But um, there's a they put a little tower on top of their school. Because there's another internet company just on the North Dakota side. Um, it's wireless internet. It's basically like, it's not like satellite internet. In a way it kind of is, but it bounces off satellite. They're not satellites, but yeah, you can't see it. But on top of that school there, there's a, there's a little tower up there. And uh, they had them last year, but then they, they got rid of them. Um, but we called... Um, to get there, and we, want, we just wanted to try. And like we were trying different, we wanted to try different internet companies, and 
they said, no, I wouldn't do any good because the school across the street was having issues with connection and, and stuff. So, I don't know. So, my mom just kind of thinks that it's them. Like it's the internet company, but they're not saying anything. But then I'm sitting here thinking, well, you kind of think that mother's computer would be having the same issues. And my old one. My old one's got some kind of a dick noise coming from the fan now, so... I gotta need. I just need to quit talking about computers. It seems like every time I talk about them, something goes wrong. But after a while, the noise stops. So I don't know. Computers just dicked. So, but uh, yeah. I'm just. I'm just going to try uh, um, a different tower. And see, the reason another reason why I want to try a different tower. I'm getting tired of holding you guys. Um, the reason I want to try a different tower is I want to see if I still continue to have that same issue um, with it being on the floor. Um, because I like it where it is. Like, it's out of the way, right? You know, it's, I mean, yeah, it's on the floor, but it's, you know, it's not in the way. And Double Strike, um, a YouTuber of mine, or subscriber of mine or whatever um he said like where it, how far is it from the router it's not that far it's not that far at all so i think the the range on the thing has got to be at least 100 feet you know um there might even be more than that now because it's a dual band and it's more powerful so it's within range it's not out of range and he said that maybe it's just the wrong setup for for what we got going on in here. I doubt it. I, I don't I don't see it being any because you know the thing is is that it's been an issue basically kind of ever since I got it. it. It did okay at first, but then it really started having issues and. We called the internet company and we told them about it. And they said, well, there's a good chance that maybe your, your router box is not powerful enough. Because at the time, that was, only a, that was only a single band. And it just didn't have the balls, you know, to keep up with everything. Because, you know, we had, you know, we had other computers that were hooked up to it. Um, the phones and then... That one iPad that I have, that's hooked up to it, you know. So there's a lot of things hooked up to it. And apparently from what they said is that that would, could cause an issue too. So they recommended to upgrade it. They didn't say to upgrade to a dual band. But I told my sister about it. And she says, yeah, a dual band would be better because it's more, there's more power in them. So we did. We upgraded. You guys already seen the video of it, of the unboxing of the new router box. And it helped for a little while, and then it just, it just started acting up again. So, <clears throat> I don't know. You can buy antennas for those computers, like you plug them, I guess, into the USB port or whatever. And I think your internet would go through that, or your connection or whatever would go through that, instead of the the little antenna or whatever that would be on the back of your computer. Um, that's another thing, too, is that the internet company blamed it on that possibly what, whatever, I forget what they call it, but it's whatever's in the computer that receives the, the internet connection. That you know, it allows you to see what's what's on the internet. You know, it's that signal. They blamed it on that. They said, well, maybe it's defective or it's not powerful enough or whatever. You know, they they told me to go call. Um. You know, basically like Geek Squad or whatever, and take the computer in and have them upgrade it or whatever or, or fix it. You know, maybe it was defective. You know. That's kind of unlikely to happen. I mean, it's really, it's really ever that you you will get a dud computer that's just just the world's biggest pile of crap. 
but I don't know. And I'm pretty sure that my computer has warranty, but Best Buy ref refuses to do anything about it. So, um, because I'm sure there's, there's some kind of a factory warranty. I know there's like extended warranty packs you can buy to for them and whatever, you know, but I'm sure there has been some kind of a warranty that come with my computer at the time. You know, I don't think you just sell a computer without some kind of, some kind of a warranty. Everything comes with a warranty. It should. You know. So. But I called them a while back and they said they ain't doing nothing with They ain't doing nothing about it. And, you know, to try to get my money back, that would just be, you know, like trying to drive into a hurricane you know it'd be like just you'd be arguing with them so i think what i'm going to do is i'm just going to get a different tower and at some point here probably either in june or july i'll probably buy it and like there's towers out there that i can get on qvc or whatever and i can finance them you know i can get them for like 500 bucks or less now yeah it's not an asus but you don't need it in an exact you don't need an ASUS tower to run an ASUS monitor. You can mismatch them, you know. So, because the monitor's fine. The monitor works great. I actually kind of wish it was a 4K monitor because now everyone on YouTube is fucking going to 4K. The monitor I got is only 1080p, so. And I have tried to watch 4K videos in a 1080p monitor. and eh, You don't really see a difference because the monitor's not ready for that. So... There's no point. If you're just wasting time trying to upload or let the video load, and I was just, just watching 1080p and be done with it. You know, and that was that's what was nice about that computer when I first got it. Um, or no, actually, it was when when we got the new router box, because because it was working fine at the beginning, and I was actually able to watch big long videos, and I was able to watch them in 1080p. Like I never could do that before. Um, even with the old computer, but then again, we had the old monitor or the old uh, router box too, so that caused issues. The highest I could ever go was was 480p. Couldn't do, couldn't even do 720. If I tried it with lag, it definitely would not even load in 1080p. But I mean, at least now it is, but because of the upgraded computer and upgraded internet, but or router box, but it's still causing issues. And so yeah, so basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a different tower and if this one works great, doesn't lose connection and whatever the fuck else, that Asus, that Asus tower that I have now, I'm just going to clean it out and sell it, sell it on eBay. Let the next person fucking deal with it. They can put the money into it and fix it up if they want. I don't have that kind of money to be doing that. So, i got a couple big boxes here that I can ship it in, you know, to the next person that wants to deal with it. So, but I'm, I'm just going to buy, a, like, you know, like a cheap tower, like something for maybe anywhere from maybe $200 to $500, somewhere around in that range. And then just test them. And then if they work, I'm going to beat the crap out of them. Let them run for a long time. And I'll just get this continue on using it then if I have no problems with it. But I'm I'm selling that Asus, that Asus tower. If, you know. So. Because there's, there's no point in me keeping it if it doesn't perform to my liking. Maybe someone else will buy it and, you know, maybe they'll have some brain smarts and they'll actually have the money to fix it and tune it up and do whatever else they want to do with it, you know. They might even just want to take it apart and and upgrade all the parts in it and make it like a really horsepower -y kind of computer, you know, where it's top of the fucking line. See, mine's all stock, you know. So, I didn't upgrade nothing in it. So... Yeah, that's basically what's going to go. That's what's just going to happen. I'm just if I get a tower if that works, I'm selling that piece of shit on eBay, and out the door it goes. I don't want it. 
I'm not keeping it. I'm not going to hoard it. I don't want it. I don't. I don't want nothing to do with it anymore. So, you know, I shouldn't. I shouldn't be having those kind of issues with that computer. That's just bullshit. You know. So, screw it. I'll just go find myself myself another tower, and. Uh, Get, get, something, get something a little bit cheaper, and uh, and if it works, drive on with it. That's all I can do, because I'm not in. I don't know how to fix computers. I'm not a computer genius. I don't have the money to be fixing computers, because I got hospital hospital bills, and I got tractor repairs, and all that shit. I don't. I'm not that. I'm not into computers. Not like. You know, like double o strike. You know, don't, you know he's like a like a, a uh, computer nerd. So that's what they call him. Or they like to fix computers and they like to upgrade them. They like to you know do that kind of shit to them. I'm not into that. I'm into tearing an engine apart and fixing an engine. You know. So I don't. But I'm not. I don't. I'm not into computers. I'm not into electronics. I only buy if if I am someone into electronics, but I'm not into tearing them apart. I'm into actually fucking using them, like the like the weather radio. That's electronic. I bought it to use it. CB radio, bought it to use it. You know, that's it. I didn't buy it to you know modify it or 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 you know to tear it apart and see what I could break to just fix it again. Like no, I want to use it. So you know. Screw that. So that's what's going to happen. I'm just going to get a different tower and uh, and uh, I guess just see what it where it goes from there. Because I mean it's been it's been an ongoing problem since since day one pretty much and and uh, so whatever if. if I'll just sell the son of a bitch on eBay and then and I'll sell it for maybe a hundred hundred anywhere from a hundred to two hundred dollars less than what I paid for it because it is used so then whatever money I do make in it I guess I will just put it towards a bill you know that, that was nine hundred dollar tower if I sell it for two hundred dollars less that'll leave me with seven hundred dollars possibly right around there -ish. Well, I got a couple of medical bills that are, that are that are pretty low, and I could put I could pretty much well just pay off about one of them, one and a half of those probably, pay off one and then pay off half of the other one, you know. So what are you gonna do? So, <clears throat> but yeah, so anyways, guys, I guess that's pretty much well it. Um, I'm going to see if I can put this antifreeze in the tractor. I'm going to get my uncle down here. He can look at it. and It's the same thing, antifreeze and coolant, so it should be fine. And uh, we'll just put it in the tractor because it ain't leaking, so I might as well put it in and see if it fills it or not. I don't know. So, And then uh, I'm going to get a different tower for my computer. And that's pretty much just it because it's garbage. So, you know, maybe Double Strike will want to buy it. Maybe he can fix it up and modify it and sell it for more than you know someone wants to buy it and upgrade it and sell it for more they can because I ain't got nothing to do with it screw it it's easier for me just to go buy different computers and, and test them out you know I'm not into modifying them so or upgrading them you know that was not do it deal, deal with that because you know I need a computer that actually works I don't need one that's torn apart and I can't use it, you know, because I'm waiting for a part. I'd rather just use it, you know. So, man, the guys, I guess I'm going to take off. So I guess I uh, have a good day and stuff and stuff. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy.